This video, we're going to talk about using Wikipedia in your research. I'm Rebecca. I'm Umaya. And I'm a librarian here at San Diego State. I'm a graduating senior majoring in sociology. Amaya, tell me honestly, when you do research, do you use Wikipedia? Of course. I normally start off with Wikipedia just because there's a lot of things that I don't know or understand off the bat immediately, and Wikipedia comes up first in the Google search. That can actually be a really great way to start your research. Wikipedia is a good place to start your research, but it's a terrible place to stop. I do agree. Tell me how you utilize Wikipedia when you need to do research. So when I need to do research, I first type in whatever I'm researching to Google, and that normally leads me right to Wikipedia. And then after doing that, I know that I need some more professional sources. So I go to the bottom of the Wikipedia page, and I look down there in the sources that they've listed, because I realize that they have probably listed sources that I can use too. Yeah, that's actually a great way to do it. And you know what I also like about Wikipedia? It can get you a good idea of terminology used in that subject area. A lot of times, I know I remember when I was a student, I was given uh, assignments where I didn't even understand anything really about the topic. And it was a good way to get an overview so I could see different sides and I could come up, I could see search terms in there too. Like things that I could put into a library database and find really good peer reviewed articles. Yeah, it really helped with the research project that I just did on human rights organizations because I would have had no clue on the names of those organizations if they weren't listed in the terminology on Wikipedia. And that can be great. It's always a good idea to double check those reference lists at the bottom of Wikipedia because I have clicked on those links and I have to tell you some of those things they're citing are a little like, I don't know if I would have cited that, but exactly. <laughs> um, the other thing I really like about Wikipedia too that you can see the discussions a lot of times. So there's a tab uh, at the top of Wikipedia that's labeled talk. I've seen that tab too. I think it's really helpful because you get to see um, the average person's perspective on a topic, which is really important when you're doing research on it. You can see the edits too, which is really interesting. That is another reason not to cite Wikipedia, unless of course you are doing research on Wikipedia. This it's, is true. It's because it's constantly updating. So what you're citing, things you're quoting, the things you're paraphrasing may not be there the next time somebody goes in. I do agree. Normally I like to take my articles from Wikipedia and put them into the library website because it will tell me if the source is peer-reviewed, if mm -hmm. it's a journal or an article or a book, and explain a little bit more about it in the summary section. So let's sum that up. So the things that you like to use Wikipedia for is you like to look at the reference lists and get some background information, and that actually helps you a lot with your research. Yeah, normally it will lead me right to where I need to go on the library website because I know that once I have a topic or an article that I specifically like, then I can put it in on the library website and see the similar articles there too, which then leads me to more articles. And that is some thoughts on how Wikipedia can be used in your research. Thank you, Amaya. Thank you for having me. If you're clear stuck, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian. Thank you. <laughs> we are here to help and we're happy to help.